Razer's new turret, keyboard and mouse Xbox combo seeks to take couch gaming to the next level. It's aimed directly at Xbox players, but it also works perfectly well on Windows. With a built-in extendable mouse pad, long battery life, and single USB dongle, the turret makes it easy to game from the couch. Let's check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Hi, this is Jordan with 9to5toys. Today we're checking out Razer's new all-in-one keyboard and mouse combo for Xbox and Windows. It's not the first turret they've created, but it is Razer's first with some special features just for Xbox. First things first, let's get it out of the box. Upon opening the top, we are greeted with the keyboard, mouse, and USB dongle. Under the keyboard, we have the manual and all of the charging cables which include a micro USB to micro USB, USB-A to micro USB, and a USB-A to USB-C cable. The first thing I noticed on the keyboard when getting it out of the box was how much it weighed. With the battery and its solid construction, the keyboard has quite a bit of mass to it. I don't think that's a bad thing, it feels extremely solid and sits well on my lap. It also has a pretty grippy bottom to keep it from slipping. All in all, definitely suited for couch gaming. It is a 10 keyless keyboard, which is a better fit for couch gaming since it brings the overall size down. And it also has a dedicated Xbox key on the keyboard. A staple in Razer's lineup, the turret keyboard uses Razer green switches. These are described as tactile and clicky and are pretty common in Razer's PC-only peripherals. They feel heavier than the optomechanical switches on the Huntsman Elite that I've been using, but they still feel good and have an incredibly satisfying sound when depressed thanks to those switches. On the right side of the keyboard is the extendable mouse pad. The built-in mouse pad has two different positions. There's a little switch or lever on the bottom of the pad that you can pull to change between positions. It can be pulled out a little ways just to hold the mouse for storage or fully extended for normal use. Similar to the Mamba, the turret's mouse is a very familiar, ergonomic, right-handed design. With the battery and a magnetic connection to the mouse pad, the mouse is a bit heavier than the Mamba Elite I've been using recently. That magnetic connection is designed to keep the mouse from sliding off when moving or being stored, which works really well, but it is something you can feel when trying to pick up and move the mouse. And what would some new Razer gear be without RGB? Both the keyboard and mouse feature customizable RGB that works on both PC through the Synapse app and on Xbox through its own dedicated app. This does drain the battery of the peripherals much faster though. It takes the mouse from 50 hours of battery life down to 30, and the keyboard from an astonishing 43 hours of battery life down to 11. Because of the, in my opinion, smaller mouse pad, you really need to play with a high DPI to take advantage of the turret. This is a big change for me since I'm used to playing at 400 DPI on PC. I mainly play FPS games. It took some getting used to and I don't think I'm as accurate as I can be on a desktop, but everything functioned as expected. I played a few matches of Fortnite and a bit of Minecraft. On Fortnite you are put into a lobby with other mouse and keyboard users. I saw maybe the slightest bit of input lag, but it really didn't feel like much and felt better than a controller usually does. For PC, the keyboard and mouse offer a solid, wireless connection. I couldn't notice any input lag in normal gaming. The ergonomic feel of the mouse was great and felt right at home. The keyboard is completely flat on the bottom and doesn't have any adjustable support, which is a bummer in my opinion. I prefer to prop the keyboard up a bit and that's not a built-in option with the turret keyboard. So the biggest hurdle for the turret being a huge success is the short list of titles that currently support mouse and keyboard on Xbox. There are some popular titles like Fortnite and Minecraft and some others coming soon like Gears of War 5, but in total there are less than 20 currently. That absolutely limits the use of the turret if just being used for Xbox gaming, but I've also found it to work well on Windows. When it comes down to it, if you need a couch gaming option, the turret is a great choice. It is a little pricey at $250, but the mouse feels just like a Mamba, and the keyboard is solidly built with some great feeling switches. Even if you built your own wireless rig, you'd probably end up getting somewhere close to that for the same quality. The extendable mouse pad is handy, and is obviously geared for Xbox One, and hopefully the list of titles that support mouse and keyboard continues to grow to make the turret more useful. What do you think of the Razer turret? How much couch gaming do you do? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.